Got us a buckle trailer. Landing gear completely gave out. They said these things fully loaded can weigh up to 80,000 pounds. This is one of those refinery trailers. We're good, bro. Thank you. And I, I don't know. But look at the front of the, the trailer. Mad compromised, huh? This is going to be a little heavier than I thought. Huh? I'll show you guys what it looks like in the back. It's crazy. It's like some filtration trailer. Won't be needing this anymore. Wow. Uh, it's for rated for 55,000? Yeah. Well, I gotta know, are these things empty or not? Dude, this is crazy. All that is is filled with water. The work filled with water. Water runs through them. You see how the pipe leads to the out? Yes. So all they do is run water through them. So they don't retain any water, so. <laughs> Let's open up the valves and drain them. <laughs> Alright, well. I'll use a spreader bar to be safe. Bro, this is a horrible ladder. Straight vertical. Ah. So spreader bar it is. We'll probably have to cut the landing gear too, you think? I don't know if we can retract that. You'll be hitting all the cars on the freeway. <laughs> Let's pull up ahead. Yeah, that's a good distance. That way when I lift it up, if you see there's these parking lot spots, I lift it up and it'll swing over right in front of that out outrigger between there and there. And Alex will back up straight, perfectly straight. All that hoopla for nothing, there's no one here. Is the shackle up there already? What? Nah, leave it. We'll use the one on the pad driver's side. I'll give you another shackle. <laughs> Hate being short. You know what? Let's use my load cell. Here. Put that end through here. All right. 
right now when talking but the people that called us they don't anticipate it to be fully loaded which is good well, i bet the whole entire thing weighs maybe like twenty thousand pounds and i'm only picking up the front therefore i'm not gonna combine my lines where i take off the block right here and one line is married to the other one in one continuous loop Take off the free spool. So, I use my Bailey six footers, the big, thick, big boys, to come down on each end, and then my 15 footer. A single 15 footer. Single of the Bailey 15. <laughs> well, we'll need that. These. Yeah. yeah, one of those thick ones. Hey. I think these, and then just a single orange one. The orange one. Damn, these are good for twenty-six thousand pounds in a basket. Big boy weight. Got the Baileys connected. Oh, hold this one. Good. You're gonna get the reach stick? Now this single 15 footer is gonna go underneath the trailer. Alex is just gonna grab the reach stick to push it through safely. And then each end connects to my Bailey sling. I'll get the angle irons. <sighs> Sweet. Got this.
this in here first. Ta-da! A little bit scared. Only because I'm not positive on the weight. Grab the, uh, on this toolbox on the opposite side, my two remotes for the load cell, please. That's perfect right there. Protects the sidewalls, protects the strap. Adds more surface area when you lift. Uh-oh. It's the one that says 2021, 2022. The one that says 2023, no. Is that this one? Yeah, this is a newer one. It's that one. Well, right now I let out all the tension to fix this. There. This one's still good. Hold on. Can you kick that in? Ready? Oh yeah, much better, thank you. What's it at now? 3700. Wow, I don't even have anything on it. 10,000, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 25, 25. Twenty-five thousand pounds. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, that's heavy. Yeah. I said no more than twenty. Twenty-seven, twenty-eight. It's like that. Twenty-eight. See, I had to start very far away from this because Alex can't climb this. You want him dead right here in the middle where there's no obstruction. So as I extend out, now I could boom up. Get it closer to my truck. Booyah! Yeah, but for now that, uh, what does it say? 27. See how this gives you more surface area. You know what, if this could retract itself, how? Um, we could manually do it. If so, I don't have to cut anything. We'll just have like a foot of overhang. And it's on the passenger side too, so Alex can just ride in the far right lane. Shouldn't be an issue. By the way, this is our new, uh, if you follow me on social media, I just posted this recently. Our brand new tractor. You did 24. With an aluminum fifth wheel plate. This thing's a beauty. Perfect. 
show you this truck one more time. Cause look at those stacks, how tall they are. I think they're the tallest in the entire fleet. This one's a 2024 model. Good. Yes. What's up, bro? Found that we got everything out. Whoa, look at the hole it made. Take this off. I'll put it uh, here for now. It's just a matter of putting away the truck. And then we'll get to the landing gear. Back doors are closed up. cables wrapped to perfection <laughs> can we manually retract it or cut it bar put away oh yeah that's the mini one that's just for like quick little cuts there you go
One more side to go. You need another blade? No, I just gotta cut it from the other side. That blade's getting worn down. I got replacements. Oh, that was easy. You got it to retract? Oh yeah. Once fully retracted, I think we'll be fine because you'll be in the far right lane anyways. And I'll be behind you. So how about I'll just step on it and pick it down, angle it down a little or chain bind it. Throw one of my like 15 footers or my 20 footer 3 8 to the other side and then bind it to, to pull it in. Bent down right there. Yeah. yeah, it does. We'll do that right now with the binder. Okay. Let me put my truck away fully. Here, let me push it first and then you tighten it up. Yeah, oh, never mind. You ain't gonna push it that hard, man. <laughs> Dude, I got a brilliant idea. Yes, well, you gotta let me say the brilliant idea instead of being. <laughs> Cause I got the five degree tilt. Oh yeah, just push it. Yes, let me test it. I'm 
want to do all right let's back up my truck and i'll show you guys what i'm about to do well this is cool i don't think i've done something like this before kill my idol thank you So I'm gonna use the five degree tow feature on Hulk. And push down the landing gear with my outrigger. Hopefully this works. Let me tilt it, tilt it the rest of the way on the other side and I'll grab a chain. I'm gonna need a shackle. And a little chain. Get it all the way, get it underneath with the... Is that as far as it goes? Tuck in. I'm gonna get closer, put a chain here, here, and then extend out and it should push it in. So I'll get it really close. Right. I've gotten out the chain and the shackle. The five degree tilt feature is amazing, but if it's only five degrees it's not gonna reach on top of the landing gear unfortunately so I had a quick idea on how to push this all the way in Let's see if my plan works All right, hold it there. Tuck in, retract, I mean. Retract, uh, extend. Good. Get this nice. All right. Okay, now uh, down. <laughs> That's better. Okay, no, 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 no. go, go out, go out, go out. Now we bind it. So grab that. Well, I take a picture to show the customer because they were worried about the overhang.
Yeah, that was a clutch idea. Why is that? I'm glad we simultaneously thought of it. <laughs> you need the binder? Here, use, use that. Use what? This one? Actually, yeah, that's fine because... This isn't a holder, no? That, that's exactly it, yeah. Just enough tension to where it won't fly back out. Once you got it, let me know. I'm gonna go to the truck to put in the outrigger and test it. Okay, perfect man, you got it already. Just remove the shackle or that. Good. I love when cool little plants like that just come up out of nowhere. Especially driving in LA. Oh man, we're by LAX. You get some dumb person that wants to go around you or squeeze in, bam, they hit you. You're at fault. All right, just connect the airlines and we're out of here. Oh, you're connected already. Just in time. They said everyone's gonna start coming in. So we are out of here, ladies and gentlemen. Should uh, resume this when we get back to their yard. Until then, peace.